Hi, I'm Dan Ray and welcome to IT Security Guru. Now, once again, we're talking about Sony. There's no stories about North Korea this time, all the guardians of peace. But news came out last night from a website called Recode, who have had a lot of information about the Sony attack, claiming that Sony have taken the option to hack back. Is that whack? Hey, I'm up for the crack. The big story, apparently, is that Sony uh, actually have conducted a DDoS attack against websites hosting the, the materials from the stone from their uh, databases and trying to slow down people taking those uh, data out. And um, according to Rico, these uh, were done, DDoS attacks were conducted by uh, Amazon Web Services data centers in Singapore and Tokyo. So it's quite an interesting move, this. And not really can't think of any precedents of actually a, a, a big organization like this actually conducting a DDoS attack. Now we heard from Tim earlier from Tripwire, he actually suspected the case that um, a DDoS attack using AWS would actually kind of uh, you know, violate the sectoral uh, use policy. And uh, <coughs> I doubt that it was true, obviously we, we, you know, we've only got the uh, resource that we're working with. But it follows more action, as I said, uh, including this week uh, deals on Netflix deals, on privacy, on copyrights, and some candid information about uh, thoughts on particular actors you know, who worked with Sony Pictures. I also heard some more of this week about how Sony employees themselves, Sony Pictures employees, pardon me, have actually been kind of kept out of the loop. Um, story on Forbes appeared earlier this week claiming that some former employees of Sony now have expressed dismay that the firm hasn't informed them whether the data has been exposed or not, and all they've received is identity theft protection. That's pretty standard in data breach cases. One former employee made the very pretty valid case that if this were to happen under Obamacare, then Obama would be forced to resign. There'd be legitimate calls for Obama to resign. That isn't the case. Sony pictures are being pretty quiet. We are working with a lot of hearsay, a lot of rumor. Um, because until then, we aren't really dealing with it, but then they are dealing with ongoing attacks. This is going every single day. It's a big story that's breaking. Um, well, this is a bit of action back, this DDoS, so it proves to be true. We'll keep watching if you're an IT security guru, we'll find out what we can, but um, at the moment, uh, you know, attacking back, it's the first thing we've seen from Sony to try and defend their actions. So for IT security guru, I'm Dan Rayward.